I took a hiatus when I had babies to raise them because I didn't think you could do both at that time, which has been proven wrong, but that was thought I thought. So, um, and then uh, in the 70s, I got back into it mm -hmm. at the Hickory Community Theater through Charles and Susie Jeffers. I had gone to school in New York to the Neighborhood Playhouse, which was a great springboard into the professional world. Uh, we had producers and agents come to our, what they call final demonstrations, which were plays. And um, after securing an agent uh, and working in New York, uh, some in theater, some on film television done then in New York, I uh, had two classmates who recommended me to the director of Fear Strikes Out, the motion picture that was planned to be made about Jimmy Pierce, all the Red Sox player. And uh, thanks to them, and I have to name drop because it was Sidney Pollack and Mark Rydell, who actually directed on Golden Pond, the film, you know, Mark Rydell. And so uh, thanks to them, I got the interview with uh, director Bob Mulligan and, and passed that and did a screen test out in L.A. And, and was informed I had gotten the role. That was great news. <laughs> Tony Perkins, who was also from New York, and uh, Carl Malden was his father. And it was um, uh, altogether a pretty young company um, because Bob Mulligan was the oldest at 30, and the producer, Alan Pakula, was 29. Tony was about 25. I was 21, and Carl Malden was the daddy to us all. <laughs> and uh, so we were known as the young group, and we rehearsed it like a play, which pleased me no end, so that we would know how to shoot out of sequence, so that we had the experience of each scene, which I appreciated from director Mulligan a lot. We knew we were more oriented to the theater, and so that, that was my start there. Straight out of the Playhouse, um, I auditioned for, thanks to getting an, a, a with it agent from the final demonstration. I can't say enough for what the Playhouse does for one when you graduate from there. That was my entry into almost everything. 
But anyway, um, the United States was taking part in the International Drama Festival for the first time, and it was produced by ANTA, American National Theater Association, which doesn't exist anymore. But Robert Whitehead was the president of that group, and they decided to take the skin of our teeth, and uh, they cast George Abbott as Mr. Antrobus, and Mary Martin, Helen Hayes, Mary Martin's daughter, Heller Halliday, and Don Murray, who went on to a film career after that. And uh, Frances Sternhagen, she wasn't the dinosaur, but she was one of the smaller parts, and that's where I met her. And of course, she did Golden Pond on stage later. <clears throat> but uh, um, we went to Paris. That's where it was held. That was my first job. Duh! <laughs> you know, it was <laughs> very nice, and I enjoyed it, and had found out that nobody understood a word of the French I'd learned in high school. <laughs> and I couldn't understand them, but I could read it, and so I could point on menus. <laughs> Never missed a meal. And so that, that was quite a, a fine beginning. Helen Hayes was most gracious, woman-friendly, always talking to all of us and encouraging us. I came back into it gradually because our daughters were very young. And um, as I said, I thought motherhood and theater were two separate entities. I didn't bring them along with me when I came. Um, so I started off slowly. Uh, I started with the Reader's Theater that we had then and got my feet back under me, so to speak, and, and found the, the love that had brought me to it to begin with. And then I began doing a play here and a play there. Road to Mecca, uh, Helen Martins in Road to Mecca, a very interesting, offbeat, ahead of her time, misunderstood, sweet woman. And um, I guess after that, I had to like doing the odd couple female version because I love being the lunchroom lady who was the friend that played the games with, with Olive. And yes, Olive, okay. Uh, that was fun. Then, um, well, Actually, Enchanted April was very interesting to do because we all adopted a British accent, and that I like dialects and accents and all that sort of thing, so I enjoyed that a great deal. Mm -hmm.